Your Land Historical Society. I'm also the Vice President of the Board of Trustees here at the library, and I'm one of the general chairmen for the Sesquicentennial Committee. Uh, you combine all three of those interests of mine together, and you get me standing here talking about Ralph Plum at the library. Um, before I get too deep into the weeds here, I do have some notes I want to make sure to mention. We have some merchandise for sale up here for the sesquicentennial. Uh, we have some mugs, some coasters, t-shirts. Uh, so that'll be available after the talk today. It'll also be available at the Historical Society all summer long and at all the events all summer long. This is just the first wave of merchandise that is starting to come in. We will have other things uh, as the summer progresses. On May 19th, uh, there's going to be a food truck festival at the city park. Uh, it's a Saturday. It's going to be for the Wall Dogs. It's a fundraiser for Wall Dogs. Uh, I encourage everybody to attend that and support that because Wall Dogs is a big thing for this summer. Uh, and in the same vein, on May 23rd at 7 p.m. at City Hall, there's going to be an informational meeting on Wall Dogs. Uh, it's open to the public and it's to explain to people what you can do to help, how you can volunteer, what you can donate, and uh, as always, we have to mention we're looking for host families uh, for the out-of-town painters. Contact Cindy <laughs> if, if you want to host a family or, or just an artist. Uh, she's in charge of that. Uh, but that's going to be an interesting meeting to attend. Uh, they'll be telling you, even if you can't volunteer and you can't physically be there to help, there are things you can do by making donations, uh, not just monetary donations, but old rags if you might have them. Uh, Kurt just mentioned to me little yogurt containers or little butter, plastic butter containers that they can use for uh, putting paint in and things like that. Uh, you, you picture painting something in your garage, everything you would use, well, they need that times a thousand. Uh, so uh, we're looking for volunteers and, and donations. That will be May 23rd at 7 p.m. City Hall Chambers. And I'm going to mention this all summer long, every chance I get, is be thinking of the time capsule. We just opened up the time capsule a few weeks ago uh, from the 1993 Quasco Centennial. Uh, we're thinking about the next time capsule. Uh, be thinking of what you want to put in there, whether it's a letter to your grandchildren or your children. Uh, whether it's something you think people in 25 or 50 years, we haven't decided which, uh, if we're gonna do it for the Quattro Centennial, which is the 175th, or the Bicentennial, which would be the 200. We haven't decided that yet. Um, but be thinking of something that you think might be unique today that they might not have in the future, that they might get a kick out of seeing what it looked like. Uh, of course, newspapers and letters and things like that are always accepted. Uh, but think of some more unique things that we could put in. And I mentioned it early because this isn't going to happen until after Labor Day. Uh, but we want people to be thinking ahead. Uh, so really, that's all I've got to mention, except also uh, the Wall Dogs have some flyers up here. So when you come up and look at the merchandise, make sure you pick up a flyer. It has some good information about the truck festival and the uh, Wall Dogs. So, commercial's over. Let's talk about Colonel Ralph Plum. 